Hi, welcome to Exploring the Illusion of Free Will. My name is George Ortega. I'm here with my co-host, Anel. Anel, good to see you again. Okay, Likewise. This, is, this is episode number 83, Free Will and No Third Alternative to Causality and Randomness. Okay, um, you want to get right into this before we explain why this show is important at all, because like, we want to make this point very clear. Um, basically, the idea is the reason... The reason free will is impossible is because everything has a cause, okay? It's as simple as that. I mean, you could also use the example of that we have an unconscious, but, you know, we can go with the causality. If everything has a cause, then there's a cause to, like, any decision or act or feeling you have, whatever it make and all. Then there's a cause to that cause, a cause to that cause. This chain of cause and effect goes back to before you were born. Some people say, well, not everything has a cause. But if... if if something doesn't have a cause, that means it's random, that means it's uncaused, that means you can't have freely willed it. Because, like, you know, yeah. to freely will something is to freely cause something, okay? Now, some people, the thing is, like, that's all there is. Something is either uncaused conceptually or caused. There's no third alternative, and that's what this show is about. What do you think? I think you're absolutely right. It's like, how could anyone even dream you said you had a friend who said there was a third i got a friend he's a menza he's a menza. menza this guy I, I, he, tell him to call me no i know we, we tell we, him to come here we can call him after the show we might be able next to week him. we're on every other week i want someone to tell me what the who has a half a brain to tell this is getting ridiculous but I mean, no, no. you're getting me upset again i mean this is so ridiculous obviously right. explain to the audience well they why. might say there's a first cause god yeah but that, that has nothing that, to do with my that has nothing to do with my my lifespan of my I want to know if I have a free will for my 80, 90, 100 years yet. So who cares about that? Exactly. Explain. What about people who say that everything is self-caused? You cause it. But what does that mean? Because when we say that we have a free will and we freely will something, that means we do it for a reason. Like, that means we can take pride in what we do because okay, we Okay, but if you're a self-causer and a first-causer... Then you wouldn't have any preferences. You would just choose anything for no reason. For I mean, no reason, like I said, I would wake up tomorrow saying I could be a uh, nuclear s Russian su submarine scientist. I mean, exactly. captain. And the reality is, the only potential first cause is God. I mean, maybe. Who, you know, if I could self-cause something, I could just come up with any thought at any time, independent of my conditioning and my genetics. Based so on I would just start speaking all. Chinese tomorrow no, if, if I wanted to? I don't know first, Chinese. How would were, I do that? If you were a first causer when like I, with any decision, that means the decision you made would have no cause, would mean it would have no reason. There would, you, it would be like arbitrary for no reason at all. That's not what we do. So the third alternative, the only thing I could think of, even I mean, I'm just trying to think, I mean, because it's so ridiculous, but, okay, so the causal or random or the third alternative would have to be self-cause. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate all what right, someone right. may say. So if everything's self-caused, then I could wake up tomorrow speaking Chinese. I could just self-cause it, right? I wouldn't have to have a reason. Yeah, and, and but again, there is, yeah. Um, and, but, but that's not what we mean when we say free will. And, 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 and again, we, 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 we can't be self-causers. Could I be again, a Russian ice hockey player? I've always wanted to do you that. You can't. Explain, Why not? If I had a free will, I could do whatever I wanted. Explain to the audience why this show is so important that we're making history. We're like, you know. I can't believe that this has, show hasn't been done before thousands of years ago. I mean, why in 2012 that anybody could possibly believe they have a free will is, 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 is the greatest mystery of the universe other than how the mystery started itself. I mean, and you want to why is it important? I, do you really want to get me started with that? Yes, because that's what this show is about. People have to understand. There's no heaven like or hell. You don't have a free will. It's why... Uh, which camera are they looking at? It's why uh, different countries speak different languages and why different parts of different countries have different dialects of different languages. I mean... Why is it important? It, because it's the truth. Uh, back to that. Because it's the truth. The only reason why we came to earth is to get this right. That's the thing. That's like, number one. Number two, there's no heaven or hell. Number three, you won't blame. Life is much better. But number three, you can't blame yourself. Now, you can pragmatically blame other people to do what's fair and right. But you're not going to blame yourself for the stupid mistakes you made because they were predetermined. So it's important because the suicide rate should go from, should be cut by about 99%. 
Exactly. A lot of times, and the one percent that commit suicide. A lot of times, like we interrupt be, a lot. And <laughs> they'll be lot for a cause. We do stuff wrong, yeah. and we will blame ourselves. And so many people that get depressed, that eventually, ultimately, kill themselves, they're blaming a lot of times themselves for what they did. So, to the extent we get this right, we don't blame ourselves wrongly. You know, we we this is like absolution. This is like innocence. We're all innocent. But no, this is in terms like what I want to express also, like in terms of why this is important. You know, there's two fundamental facts of human existence. The first is that we exist, okay? We exist. That's like nobody would contest that, all right? We exist. That's not That's true. I met a guy who told me that it's all a dream. Ah, so it's a dream. We exist as a dream. It doesn't matter. So the okay. second fundamental fact is we do things, okay? I we, met another guy who said there's multiple think, universes. There's, there's feel, ten of me in different universes. We, we act. We do stuff, okay? So, like, we're getting, by believing in this this illusion of free will, Thank you. we're getting the second fundamental fact of human existence completely wrong. Wait, what was the first fact? Is that we exist. What was the second one? That we do things, we feel things, we act, we decide, we, we you know, we So which do. one are we getting wrong? We're getting the second one wrong. Well, we do things, but they're not freely willed. That's what I'm saying. They're like compelled people, by the entirety people, of the universe. You know, this, this free will illusion says that we can do things completely on our own, independent of anything. Genetics and conditions. And it's, it's a complete um, illusion. It's a complete mistaken conclusion. Um, all right, let's, let's go with this. Um, Does anyone actually believe they have a free will, or is this like, I think it's all just a joke. I mean, I, I feel like I'm in the Truman Show. Did you ever see that movie? I got to see that now. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> right. I mean, I feel like everyone around me is acting and pretending they have a free. They all know they don't have a free. It's ridiculous. Well, maybe it's to keep the people down or something. I don't know. You gotta wonder because, like, I people gotta graduate wonder. from 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 junior high school. I mean, Deepak from Chopra, school, come on, come on. College. I wrote. I read some this. gibberish you that you wrote this? about infinite possibilities. Everything has a cause. I mean, think and He's like, crazy. If, if we had a free will, if we had a free will, that means we could decide whatever we wanted to. That means everybody would be blissed out. Everybody would be happy. Every no divorce. Every day. Nobody would right. fall out of love. Yep. There, we got a 50% divorce 55, rate. 55. First marriages, right? right? Think about it. You're married to somebody. If you had a free will, you would choose to stay in love. You wouldn't, like, fall out of love. You wouldn't be disappointed with everything. With everything. That That's the ramifications. That's the implications of that. That's what f having a free will would mean, that you would be able to, like, control this stuff. You wouldn't Obviously, commit crimes. You, you wouldn't be mean. You wouldn't be ma yeah. That, yeah. If we had a free will, who among us would be mean to, do you think to, Bernie Madoff set out to do a Ponzi scheme from the beginning? He started off trying to do something. He was losing money. He didn't know how to protect himself, so he got caught like checkmate. He got stuck in something. He couldn't get out of it. He, he didn't start off any murder. They don't start off to do that. Well, let's say they did. I mean, because who knows? Because, like, maybe maybe he felt that, like, that the people shouldn't be... Um, stupid enough to be swindled. So if people are stupid enough to be swindled, he's going to swindle them. Cause I don't think gonna... he was born starting out that way. Oh, no, you're Something right. Something happened. All right. No, I get his point. Exactly. Yeah. So you could use that for anyone. Like, yeah, a little baby. You and know, even like... if they are born evil, let's just say. That's not their fault. Exactly. That's genetics. There, there are certain kinds of, like, conditions that were... There's like empathy. A lot of times we do right because we empathize with other people and we don't want to hurt other people's feelings and stuff. For some people, that part of the brain that's supposed to be doing that isn't working. You can't blame a person when part of their brain that's supposed to be doing that isn't working. You know that, I mean, all right. Genetics or conditioning, that's it. Yes. All right. Um, so explain, explain the causality of this uh, again. Like, you know, right. Just like basically our choices are causal. What I love about this show and this whole topic is I've read all these guys who believe in free will. They go on for endless hours of thousands of pages of gibberish, psychobabble. Uh, they don't make any sense. I can explain this. Let me think. In three words. Ready? Yes. Causal. Where's the TV? Where? Causal or random? Again, everybody together now. Causality or randomness? Oh, I'll see. Be, be, uh, Five words. Okay. <laughs> Deepak and these, everyone who believes in free will can explain for, what they... And the G Gazan, Gazanaga, this Gazanaga. crazy book that makes no sense. Of, yeah. we're, we're, okay. Father of Cognitive Neuroscience. Yeah, show that. That, that crazy book. Okay. Uh, they write thousands of pages and confuse... Okay. So these I can explain PhDs, it in five right? words and it'll never be refuted. Five words. I want the whole world to say it together. When they, Everything 
is causal or random. Can you say it? Everything is causal or random. There is no slower now. Let's pretend these people are two year olds. All right. Everything, Everything is, is causal, causal or random. Or random. That's, That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Now Things you can go on about the unconscious and this, that, and quantum physics and Higgs boson and but, quarks and entanglement. I know all these theories. It's even more than that. It's even more than that. Morality. You know, conceptually, conceptually, everything is causal. Your crazy random. thing with the Liberto Le- Le- guy and uh, who's that guy who wrote that book? Right. Conceptually. What's that guy's name? Me. Follow me. Conceptually, everything is either causal or random. But the truth of it is that there is no such thing as random. All right. That can make it even three words. Everything is causal. Exactly. E- you want three words? Yes. How about one word? Causality. <laughs> Because of causality. And how fundamental a law is this? So how can we refute 5,000 pages, 50 philosophers with one word? you got to wonder, how can the it's universe... It's too simple, that's why. No, no, it's like, you got to ask yourself, how, I read this how stuff, do I get a headache. Get this? No, no, I know, they confuse themselves. Oh, I know what it is, I got it. Them. They work for Advil. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All, right. All these Explain. philosophers that confuse you, and I've been to these debates. They don't confuse me. They, they work for themselves. Advil because I get a headache and I need to, I need to get a pill. Yes. Because they give me a headache. They don't make any sense. I know. The gibberish causes me, see, to get an Advil. And because because they and don't have to commit suicide. Will. No, no, but I'm, I'm just kidding. But they, they give me a headache. They don't make any sense. Yeah. Well, and I, I challenge them, and I wish someone from CNN would put us all on a t- show with you know, a neutral moderator, and let's debate it out. All I'm going to say is, who's, like Deepak Chopra, because you say he believes in free will. Like you said, what's causing you to say that? What, do you agree Do you agree that everything's conditioning? What if he says no? Right, okay, that's, let me, let me explain Everything's this. conditioning, no. Let me explain Oh, this. really? Yeah, let me explain you this. You were a newborn baby. How There's, did you learn how to speak I, Indian? I developed this Stupid Ortega, ha, um, oh, yeah, 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 Ortega yeah, yeah. two-step okay, refutation three minutes of, of silence. free will. Go ahead. Okay, the way it goes is like, because, yeah, these guys who write books, they write pages. They write entire books of convoluted, obfuscative, <laughs> sophist arguments that make no sense. And so, like, how do you defeat those arguments? You simply ask them, all right, fine, forget your rationale. Give me an example of a choice you believe is freely willed, okay? That's a simple question, okay? And they give you a, a this example, guy's the worst okay? Case. And it, it doesn't matter what they this say. One's good. It doesn't matter what choice they give you. This they is can, his you book. Know. It's brilliant. Yeah. So, like, anyway, so they. Confuses me, but good. They, <laughs> they give you a choice. Sam Harris the, had it right till the end. The second step to this refutation, you ask them simply Newer Testament. Did this choice have a cause? Okay, Cover and this. at that point Cover. you have them because at that point if they say yes that the the choice had a cause then well you said then you simply tell them well listen if it, if it had a cause then the chain of cause and effect effect that, that goes back to before they were born goes back to the before the planet was created before the, uh, to the big bang makes free will impossible if they say no the choice did not have a cause that would mean that they couldn't have been chosen by their free will simple as that two step if i had a free will i would have been paying attention i missed half of that what did you say <laughs> forget um who cares anyway right. uh no i care why don't why don't people get this? you made some good points you said something that was very good but i can't remember what it was all right if another, i had a free will i would know what it was right another i would have just paid attention another reason why people don't get this because they're conditioned i mean like oh that's right if i'm debating someone who says they have a free will and i said to them Every, every, that's a conditioned response. You know, you weren't born with that response. You didn't come out of your mother's womb talking about free will. And he says, no, everything's not conditioning. I self-caused it. How do I answer that, Deepak? Or How whoever. do you self-cause? I mean, what does that even mean to self-cause something? I caused something? it. I, I conditioned myself. Right, and then you I ask... I don't know what that means. Then you ask, what, you, you, you self-cause something for no reason? Because that's not what free will means. Free will means that, like, we can take credit for stuff we do or we can get b- blamed for stuff we do. Well, consciousness is infinite. I can choose whatever I want. The whole time. I can't even make any sense of their arguments. It's I mean, I'm just going to say, you know, we're in two different universes. I don't even know what you're talking about. I mean, or you, you have- believe you have free will, therefore... You're not, it's not, okay, so you believe in free will. Was that a condition? How did you come up with that? Yeah, the, I mean, I admit that I'm conditioned, don't you? 
One, all right, one Wait, way Wait, do you to admit s- that everything's conditioning? Absolutely. All right, so we agree everything's conditioning. Now we get someone who believes they have a free will, so we say, do you believe everything's conditioning? And if they say yes, we automatically win. Yes. But they're going to say no, everything's not conditioning. They're outside their conditioning. Well, right? They're outside their conditioning. Yeah. They're, they're, they're outside of their genetics and conditioning. But How? You- you, you can't be. It's impossible. Con- conditioning is a causal process. Conditioning is it's an expression of causality. You but can't. I go to a store and I order vanilla over chocolate, they'll say. Right. So I so know the answer. Was there's a reason. Do. There's a reason why they did that. It doesn't matter what the reason is. I chose is. it. I right. like it better. You like it better. So, like, why right. do you like it better? There's a reason. Because I that. decided I caused it. I like it better. Who okay. are you, anyway? Um... <laughs> No, what else? you like it better because you have a conditioned preference built up over time. You have predisposed genetic predisposition right, give me another three that came minutes. to light. Three minutes okay. for this. Sorry. Uh, basically, there, there, there are, I think, two kinds of people who get through school and get through life. Some people have very good memories. You know, they go through school, they're very good at remembering what they're taught, and then when a test comes, they're very good at reciting what they've learned. These are the people who are going to believe in free will because they get by in school and they get by in life not through understanding things but simply remembering them. Then there's people, and you can't blame them, they don't have free will, that's the way they're made. Then there's people whose memory isn't all that strong. So because their memory isn't all that strong, they have to understand what they're learning. If they have to understand what what they're learning, they have to understand the logic of it. These are the people in the world who get this issue right, who get this question right, who understand that free will is an illusion. That's an explanation because like, otherwise, how could you explain how PhDs, you know, simply don't get this right? You know, that's the thing. My answer to that is that the nature of the universe is mysterious. How, how it started, you know, it's either You're God. doing a Chopra. You're doing a Deep Rod Chopra or what? No, no, no. The nature of the universe is so mysterious that I use that same mystery of how anybody could believe in free will. It's, it's just a mystery oh, to me. Right, I, I can't you. even... Gra- it's so... <laughs> oh, I know where you thought I was going down the wrong lane. <laughs> because I conditioned you the other day with that deep pot okay. Yes, yes, yes. In other words, the nature of the universe is so mysterious that the nature of how anybody could believe in free will, to me, is, is like... is so... It's equally mysterious. I can't make any sense of it. When you ask me that, I don't know if I should laugh or cry. I mean, the whole thing is so ridiculous. You're asking me, why does anybody believe in free will? How? I know. And, and then the question is, the, right. The answer is, I have no, I don't know if I'm allowed to curse, but I, they'll probably edit this. I have no fucking idea. No, 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 I, no, you can't. I don't okay. think so. Whatever. I have no idea, honestly, and I would, I would tell anybody this, how you could, I think you, if you tell me you have believe in free will, I'm going to start laughing because I think you're joking. Is it some sort of joke? Here's a, that. Is it? Is this all planted a whole joke? It's, it's on me, right? It's on you. It's a, <laughs> I mean, the people. Right. This. Where's well, Keith? Where, where's the camera um, person? Do they really believe they have a free will? I don't believe. People, I think they, people, they're just busting our chops. People they don't have believe believed that. in free will for like that guy 5, from your group, Bill years. Carter. Shut up! Right. People have believed in free will for like five thousand years. The Egyptians had Jeez. like this conception of an afterlife. If they did certain things, they were gonna like, ex- you know, enjoy like a paradise. You know, so this this belief. Well, that's has the been hedonic Here's the thing. Now, for some reason, it's 2012. Okay. The universe has decided for 5,000 years we're going to get this wrong. In 2012, you've got 30 articles in major papers, the Washington Post, Psychology Today, um, Los Angeles Times, cover New of York Times, cover of The Guardian. You know, Your this shoulders. is major. This is just happening now. So the universe is, is, is like deciding after five years of, of deluding us, of making <laughs> us like completely, you know, mistaken about this, this second fundamental fact of our existence, getting it right. Now, you know, think wait, so about Wait, it. you mentioned Egyptians believe in free will so they can go to a better afterlife? Well, they obviously must have believed in free so will. So why didn't every like, single one of them go to a better afterlife? Why were any of them depressed ever? No, why was, it, was there not one suicide in ancient Egypt? No, they believed in free will. So, like, so then why would they, they could just all choose good thoughts? When uh, Why would anybody be... You're oh, saying I, no, not no, one no, ancient right, right. Egyptian was ever depressed? Is exactly. that what you're trying to tell the, me? Right, you're the, kidding me now. No, no. The point now is, you're acting... You're joking right. with me, right? That's why the free will concept Come on. is incoherent. Stop that's, being that's, that's Not one of them fell sense. out of love with their wife? If we had Stop a free being will, ridiculous. What, what Anel is trying to say is that if we had a free will, who... 
would choose to, to do You just anything told me they wrong. had a free will in ancient, ancient Egypt. They believed it. They How? Didn't have so, a not, so what you're telling me is not one of them ever fell out of love with their wife. Well, it, no, not I'm one telling you they believed it. I'm not telling you they so had So they didn't it. have one member of their family ever get depressed <laughs> back then. It's the same with today. All they have to say is cousin, <laughs> fa Pharaoh cousin Jimmy is depressed. Oh, he has a free will. Let him just choose to be happy. He can't. Why not? Because he has a... Because he doesn't have a free will. I know. I know. So, like, now for some reason, the universe for 5,000 years had us get this wrong. 2012. Maybe this is like this Mayan prophecy, the, the end of this 5,000 year cycle. That's maybe what's happening. Maybe this is part of what it is about. That's what it's about. It may be, because let me tell you something. It's this not is, the end of the world, it's the end of free an will. This is entirely different consciousness. All right. If you believe in you have a free will, you're completely deluded. It's a completely insane belief, okay? Because the fact is, like, nothing, and that's what makes reality so surreal, so amazing. Nothing in this world is up to us. Let's make up a new word eluded. <laughs> Instead eluded, of deluded. Fine. Deluded is too pejorative. Uh, they may not know what that means. It's too negative. All right. It's delusion, insane. Delusion to me, I've said this before, it's means you know the insane. truth, but you're just deluding yourself. So you already, okay, people actually believe in free will because it's, it's an illusion. Yes. It's like a magic trick. So people are illusion. I know, why I know, can't we make up our own word? We can do whatever reason, the hell we want. All right. The reason I refer to it as a delusion is like if you understand that everything has a cause and that every decision has a cause, and then you continue to believe in this illusion of free will. That's where the illusion becomes a delusion. You know, but that's where, that's where it becomes pathological. We're going to need new words to change society the logic because of it. Yeah. the whole vocabulary is wrong, yeah. But, um, all right, this is major. This, this is a, a major kind of an event because it's a, it's a different, entirely different consciousness. Right. You know, it's, it's going like, the, I mean... I'll give you another two minutes of silence. The idea is... Life is a movie. Reality is a movie. What I'm saying right now, what you're doing, you're listening to this. It had to be. It was fated. It was destined. That's, that's the way it is for everyone. So then you ask yourself, all right, well, why did the universe create a creation where everything is fated like this, where nothing is up to us? We've got to explore this. Um, and you might ask yourself that, and it makes life actually much more wonderful, full of wonder, than believing in this free will illusion. But then um, the question becomes, well, what's our role in this? And, and you have to understand, there's absolutely no way that the universe could have been made to give human beings a free will. In other words, like, you know, a, a, a zillion years could go by. We could never have a free will because causality is the fundamental process of nature. Okay. <laughs> How much time? <laughs> I'm trying uh, to not be interrupted. I know, please. Um, all right. I try to see how well you do. I, I, it's well, no, it's right, fascinating. Let me, let me finish. You got all another right. minute, by the way. Cool. All right. Now, why is um, causality so fundamental to nature? Why is you know why am I so sure of this? Think about this. If there change is the fundamental process in nature. In other words, like if there was no change, then nothing would be in motion. Nothing would be moving. The universe would be completely static. Nothing would move. Obviously, the universe is moving, so there has to be change. What is change? Change is something being in a certain position at one moment in time and being in a different position and the next moment in time. That is an expression of causality. In other words, like when it's in one position, the momentum of it and the forces of nature and all cause it to be in the second position. That is how fundamental causality is to, to, to nature, and that is why free will has to has to be impossible. There's absolutely no way we can have it. Go ahead. Okay. So everyone's watching the show. You made a good point. I don't even know which camera. Okay. Why? Okay. I, not why. What is the cause for you watching this show? That's the first thing. What is the cause of the couch you're sitting in? Like, where'd you get it? What's the story? Okay. Go trace that back. Or if you're standing, why are you standing? Maybe if it, you, know, you have a bad back and need to stand or whatever. Why are you eating what you're eating? There's a cause to that. The TV you're watching, why that particular television, why that model, why, you know, is it high definition or not? The shirt you're wearing right now, you know, why, I'm talking to people watching yeah, the show. Absolutely. Why do you have that dog that's on your foot, that wife, that house? It all has causes, and you can trace it all back. Now, if you can't, I like the unconscious argument, semi-conscious, I like to use the word subconscious, but you like, okay. So even if you don't, if, if you don't know the reason, that makes perfect sense because it's, in, you know, Every memory gets 
put in our mishmash of, you can't have, you can only have one thought at a time, right? So if I don't know exactly where I, why I got this shirt, I know there's a cause for it. I don't have to know what it is. Exactly. It's like a, saying, I, like I'm watch, just real quick, I, I watch the Olympics every night now, okay? You see these flags of these countries. I don't know why they look the way they do, but I know there's a cause for it. If I went to uh, Gabon and asked them, why is your flag red, green, or whatever the hell with that star? I'm sure a Gabonese could say, well, the, that symbolizes blood, war. There's a reason. But I don't have, just, so just because something exists, you, you don't have to know what the cause is, but the cause is there. That's a very good point. So just because you don't know it some doesn't mean anything to yeah, me. Yeah, some philosophers will say, well, But the unconscious you know, is much better. If, if we don't know what the cause is, then that means there is no cause. Yeah, people, philosophers That's will crazy. say that. It is crazy. It's insane. It doesn't make sense. I want to ask what the cause of him saying that is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, um, all right, we've got about two minutes left. Again, this show is about, like, you know, free will is refuted by causality, and the only other alternative to causality would be randomness. But randomness makes no sense because, like, randomness means something is not caused, and those are the only two options. There is no third alternative. Being a self-caused kind of thing, maybe that's a third alternative. I'm not sure. I've got to think about it because that's, you brought that up. No, so, someone like, might say that. It's the nuttiest thing I've ever heard, but if you could self-cause then there would be no reason for anything, and I'll wake up tomorrow and become a Filipino badminton player. Right, okay. And I'll start speaking a new language that I invented because it doesn't have a cause. I mean, if I could self-cause, all or everything would be po I wouldn't know what to do next. I wouldn't have any preferences. It would all be erased. Right, okay, so again... Does that so make sense to you? You're just saying, right, does that no, make sense I got, to you? Yeah, you uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> that so, would make me a first... It would make me a little god. All right, now right? why is this important? To the extent we, we understand that nobody has a free will, we stop blaming each other. We start stop blaming ourselves. We stop feeling arrogant no, and No, no, we can blame each other pragmatically. Flat, pragmatically. Right, right. Not but, fundamentally. No one's going to heaven right. or hell. But okay. we don't. When, when we do good things, we don't become arrogant and conceited and boastful. We remain modest and humble. Yeah, that's brilliant. When other people do great things, like in the Olympics, you don't envy them. You say they're lucky. I want to see what happens if I walk off. You know, I've always dreamt of what, this. What? You got your hooked up, dude. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> so, Conditioning. Go ahead. See, we're hooked up. See, like we can't. We're, we're not free to do what we want. I'm leaving. That's, <laughs> All right, we I got like 20 seconds. seconds without me. All right, Plus so I've always dreamt of just storming out. Anyway, this is like I've lost my co-host. We've got to do another two shows after this, so he'll be there. All right, again, to the extent we understand that free will is an illusion, that nobody's a free will, we will create a much more compassionate, understanding, and intelligent world. I mean, especially intelligent, because this free will delusion is so unintelligent. It's amazing the universe has made us think of it. Thanks. We'll, we'll see you again next time. Thanks.